<laughs> Mr. Vice President and distinguished members of the Council, I'm honored to be here today in this extraordinary venue to represent more than 6,000 men and women of SpaceX who work tirelessly each day to provide NASA, the Department of Defense, and our commercial customers with critical launches to space. We are driven by a deep sense of mission to revolutionize space technologies and to help this nation, it, the, the world, to help this nation and the world become, truly space, become a truly space-faring civilization. Now is the time for swift and bold action. A permanent presence on the moon and American boots on the surface of Mars are not impossible and they are not long-term goals. We can achieve rapid progress if we undertake concerted efforts that optimize America's greatest strengths, ingenuity, innovation, and entrepreneurialism. America is out innovating the rest of the world in space launch. So far this year, SpaceX has successfully conducted 13 launches, more than any other nation. And we have also repeatedly demonstrated the ability to refly previously flown rockets for commercial customers. We have another one of those missions upcoming in a week. This is a market, commercial space launch, that the United States used to dominate in the 90s. We lost it in the 2000s, and we, have been, we are bringing that back uh, to the United States uh, along with the thousands of jobs that follow it. SpaceX is bringing this critical market back, and we are pleased to be doing so. Also, as recently announced by my boss, Mr. Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, we also plan to move forward rapidly with a program, a commercial program, for an American rocket and a spaceship capable of carrying large numbers of humans to Mars, as well as the surface of the moon. Though I sit on the commercial space panel today, and as I've mentioned, we are a key player both in the civil and the national security space markets. Earlier this year, we carried the National Reconnaissance Office L-76 mission to orbit. Last month, we successfully launched the Air Force's X-37B into orbit. Next year, we will have the profound honor of carrying U.S. astronauts into space on an American rocket for the first time since 2011. New rockets, spacecraft, and plans for space commerce abound. In short, there is a renaissance underway right now in space. Against this background, we urge the Council to undertake a unified effort across the federal space enterprise. You have the opportunity to help accelerate low Earth orbit and deep space efforts by employing public-private partnerships to yield speedy and efficient results and by implementing meaningful regulatory reforms. Overall, the Council can work to alter and improve procurement agility and flexibility so that the government can behave more like a commercial buyer where applicable. If we want to achieve rapid progress in space, the U.S. government must remove bureaucratic practices that run counter to innovation and, and speed. We urge the Council to look back to the NASA Commercial Orbital Transportation Services Program, or COTS, for important lessons learned about the effectiveness of public-private partnerships and how to carry them out. The firm fixed price, pay for performance, competitive principles embodied in the COTS programs allowed NASA to rapidly yield two new spacecraft and two new rockets capable of carrying cargo to the International Space Station. These lessons should be applied to America's space program beyond low Earth orbit, including a new competitive public-private partnership modeled on the COTS approach for deep space exploration. This would augment budgets with private capital, complement existing technologies that are being pursued, and accelerate technologies for new destinations in space, including deep space communications networks and also landers on the Moon and Mars. The Council can also establish directives that achieve rapid government adoption of new commercial capabilities like reusable launch vehicles. Rapid and complete reusability is the next great advancement for spaceflight and will fundamentally alter the economics and, re and access to space. Finally, the Council could commit to reforming, modernizing, and streamlining federal regulations governing space launch. Regulations written decades ago must be updated to keep pace with the new technologies and the high cadence of launch from the United States if we want a strong space launch industry here at home. Mr. Vice President and members of the Council, thank you so much for this invitation, and I look forward to your questions.